Hello, welcome to Knowledge of Physics. In this video, I will be showing you to estimate the area of the circle by using the Monte Carlo method. Monte Carlo method is the uh, method by which you can estimate the value of pi and hence the value of area of the circle by using the concept of random number. Actually, Monte Carlo method is based on the uh, concept of random number where uh, first of all, you have to generate the random number, pair of random number and then you can use those random numbers for estimating the value of pi and you use the value of pi for calculating the area of the circle. First of all, I want to show you a few demos of the result. For that, uh, I have created here the Photon 5. Okay, I want to run this program and show you the results first. Okay, for that, I want to go to that directory. I am using Linux operating subsystem uh, in Windows 10 but if you are using Linux operating system on your desktop then you can go to the folder as as uh, the steps you follow usually so but in my case I first go to the my PC okay and then in my PC I have two volumes or drives C D F so I have uh, saved the file in uh, F drive and there is a folder named random number okay i want to go inside the random number folder and there i have created the file called circle underscore area dot f90 i want to run this program okay this is the program after typing this much code and press enter Okay, the program is correct to see the output i want to just type dot slash a dot out and press enter and it says enter value enter the value of number n to generate pairs of random numbers it says like this and first of all i want to give provide the value of n as 10 okay and press enter and it shows number of xy pairs in square is 11 and number of xy pair in circle is 9 and value of pi estimated value of pi is 3.599 and area of circle is 3.6 and you can see the actual value of the circle is this one and by comparing this with this value i got the error as 7.108 percentage you can decrease this uh, error by providing the value of n higher than 10 uh, first uh, for example i want to provide 10,000 value of n equal to 10,000 and press enter now it says uh, this is the estimated value of pi, this is estimated area of circle, this is the real value of uh, area of circle and you know this is the error in the calculation. You can see the error percentage is decreased now. Okay. After watching video, this video, you will be able to um, write the code, the turn code to get the result like this. Okay. So let's get it started. First of all, let me explain about the Monte Carlo method, about Monte Carlo method. Okay, uh, here you can see a picture. Okay, it says estimation of pi. Uh, this picture is used for the estimation of pi by using Monte Carlo method. And in Monte Carlo method, what you need to do is uh, there is a square, okay, and the circle, a circle, and its center is at origin. That means uh, at the coordinate zero zero. And you know this is zero. This is one. Okay, so the the radius of the circle is 1. This means uh, this circle is also known as the unit circle because it has area, sorry, radius which is equal to 1 unit. Okay. Um, and the side of this uh, square has the value of 2 units. Uni uh, the sides or length has the unit of kilometer, meter, or centimeter. But I don't, uh, I am not specifying the units, okay, as kilometer, meter, or centimeter. I just want to use units here. And you can see many points inside uh, this uh, circle or this square okay in green color okay and the value of pi is uh, estimated by considering these points okay and it says value of pi is equal to uh, four times uh, points inside the circle divided by points inside the square okay and this uh, relation uh, is obtained by using the relation area of circle which is equal to pi times d square by 4 and area of the square is equal to d square 
I want to show you that uh, the diameter of the circle is equal to side of the square. So in both cases, in area of circle, you get 5d square by 4 and in area of uh, this uh, square, you get uh, area is equal to d square and ratio of uh, area of the circle divided and uh, area of the square is uh, 4 uh, pi d square by 4 all divided by d square d square d square is cancelled out and you are left with pi by 4 and this value is equal to uh, number of points inside the circle times number of points inside the square and from pi by 4 you get 4 on the right side and you get pi is equal to 4 times uh, number of points inside the circle divided by number of points inside the square in this way you can estimate the value of pi and then uh, as we are considering the unit circle that is the circle of uh, radius 1 you can use this value of pi uh, by using the area of circle is equal to pi r square r square is 1 so value of area of the circle is equal to actually pi units okay and the area of uh, unit of the area is units of area uh, maybe kilometer square meter square or centimeter square but uh, i I am not specifying any units, so you can use units here as well. Now, uh, let me go to the program. Let me show you uh, writing the program. This is the file I have already created. Now I want to show you by creating another file. Okay, so this one is the file. Let me name it as program area of circle. You cannot use this space here. Okay what you can use underscore sign and there must be mpc control let me save this file with the extension of dot ef90 let it be area of circle dot ef90 okay i want to save it in ef drive inside the folder named random number okay now save it okay as this uh, file is uh, uh, with the extension of dot uh, f90 then you can see the color of the program and implicit not has been changed into brown color okay now after this uh, setting this file uh, what you have to i want i have to do is uh, especially declare the variables let me declare the variable first of all we have to generate pair of random numbers x y and then we have to generate value of pi okay pi is for the real value of pi and pi1 is the estimated value of pi and then we have to specify area uh, area 1 area 2 and then we have to specify error okay okay let me use this much right now and we have to also declare integers let it be n i n c and the yum as well now you have to provide the value of c you must provide the value of bigger value of this c okay i want to provide this much now to provide uh, to provide the value of n for generating the set of random numbers you have to provide here uh, write the code here mm, enter value of n to generate random numbers x y now you can say generate pairs of random numbers you can write the code like this and the program must read the value of n you enter now provide the value of m as 0 because it is integer and the value of um, let it be okay i will specify this one now you have to use the do loop i takes value 1 to n okay then write for the code of random number okay before that what you need to do is uh, for generating the random number you have to call yes rand inside which there is c okay after this write the code for generating another random number y and okay let me also declare the real 
variable r so that r is equal to square root of x square plus y square because you know the area so the equation of circle is r square if uh, r is radius of circle r square is equal to x square plus y square this is area of circle and i put this square on left side and it it is square root so that area of uh, r is equal to square root of x square plus y square okay now to consider the points inside the circle what you need to do is you know r is the radius of circle and it can have the value uh, from 0 to the value which is greater than 1 because we are using the values of x and y are less than 1 greater than 0 but uh, you know there is some okay plus so this value can be greater than 1 not all values but some of the values can be greater than 1 what we are using considering the unit circle that is the circle having radius 1 so to follow that condition boundary condition what you need to do is you have to use here if clause if r okay uh, r is less less than or equal to 1 then then m is equal to m plus 1 this gives the point number of points inside the circle and pi 1 is equal to 4 times 4 times uh, real value okay, real value of this m okay divided by the real value of i m represents the number of points inside the circle i represents the number of points inside the square you know value of i must be greater than value of m okay now after writing this much code uh, we have to specify the area area 2 is equal to obviously pi 1 we are not using the ra radius otherwise it, it would be r square but you know r is r must be 1 for unit circle so we don't need to use r so i want to use only pi here and also uh, area 1 is equal to area 1 plus area 2 this area 2 okay now we have to specify the value of area 1 here as area 1 is equal to 0, 0.0 real value okay this value gives the sum of the area of all set all pairs of random numbers or random points now after writing this most code write any and n do now to see the output you need to type here uh, area of circle is area actually it is area okay now area but uh, we have to write the code here for area area is nothing but the average value of area 1 okay that is area 1 area 1 divided by real value of the random points inside the circle is how more how what it is m so area of the total area divided by total number of points inside the circle this is area and you have to write here units of area you know, i just want to use write here units and in program okay let's see the result for this much code okay if any correction is needed we will do later so now let's run the program to run the program what you need to do is uh, let me clear all this okay now uh, type g for run and area of circle this one and press enter okay there is there are some errors here two errors c argument of s rand must be integer it says integer did i declare it as variable okay let me check it it is integer okay this is not in real action it must be integer okay i hope it will be correct now mm, let's run the program again okay now it is correct to see the output type slash dot a dot out and it says 
enter value of n to generate pairs of random numbers x, y. So first of all, let me enter n. You see, the value of uh, area of circle is 3.71305132 units. And let's see the result for another one. value of n. Let it be 10,000. And it says value of the circle, area of circle is 3.15582514 units. Okay. Now add, uh, now let me add few steps, few quotes for in the program, okay, for the errors. Okay, I want to type here print a number of points inside the square. Number of points inside the square is m and also print number number of points inside circle is i okay sorry sorry this must be i and this one is sorry the number of points inside the square is i given by i and number of points inside the circle is m okay now for error for error Phi, real value of phi is equal to real value of phi is equal to 4.0 times a tan 1 this gives the real value of phi and real area is again phi for unit circle Now the error is real area minus area divided by real area times 100 and for absolute value you should use your areas so that there will be no, no plus or minus sign in the result it will be only positive numbers or plus n now to see the output of this error you can write here real value of area of unit circle is what it is real area and again error in calculation or estimation is value of error okay now save the program and let me run it again go to the terminal and run the program again okay it is correct you see the output type slash dot a dot out okay now provide value of n as 10,000 and it shows the number of points inside the square is 10,001 and number of points inside the circle is 7,931 and area of circle is 3.155 and so on units and real value of area of the unit circle is this one okay and error in calculation is this one percentage let me add some codes here again and this here must be units and here must be percentage okay now save the program again and run it again in the terminal okay now let me provide the value of the ns 10,000 again now you can see the number of points inside the square number of points inside the circle and the estimated value of area of circle is this one real value of circle is this one and error in calculation is this one let me clear all of this and see the result again okay now let me provide 20,000 value of the NS 20,000 you see
now let's check for the value of n equal to 40,000. Okay. So the precision increases with the greater value of EN. Okay. So in this way you can estimate the area of the unit circle by using Monte Carlo method. method. Monte Carlo method is a method of estimating pi and area of circle by using the concept of a random number. Random number. Please check the description and download the click on the link provided in the description and download this file. But I strongly recommend you to write the code yourself do not copy and paste it otherwise it will show you show some errors so if you write the codes yourself then it will be correct okay so i strongly recommend you do not copy and paste the codes write it yourself thank you so much for watching we will next uh, we will see you in next video if you found this video helpful please uh, like the video share it with your colleagues or friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much